All right, hello friends. We're going to do some art today. We are going to make popsicle summer art. So you're gonna need paper, two containers of water, some paints, a paintbrush, and you guys are gonna start with a pencil. I'm gonna use a Sharpie so you can see it, but we always like to start with pencils because they can erase. So the first thing we have to do is draw the outline of our popsicles. So I've got my page landscape. So sideways, this is just gonna make it a little easier. We're gonna make six popsicles on here. Okay, so they're not super big. We're gonna have three on the top, three on the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna start by first kind of figuring out the middle, it's about there. So I'm gonna do mine up here. So I'm going to start by drawing a straight line like that. That's it, easy peasy. Then I'm gonna make a big curve up. So easy. I don't want to make it too close to my middle because I still have to add the stick and then I want to be able to draw one underneath. So let's add the stick. It's just two lines down. Connect them with the curve. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm going to do the exact same thing right below it. So I'm going to draw a line about the same length, but we're not looking for perfect. We want to use art to explore. Do my big curved line. Up like this and my stick on the bottom so we're gonna draw six of those and I want to leave space in between them so I'm gonna do my second one here do my line across do my big like rainbow curve add my popsicle stick to the bottom okay same thing down below one And is it okay if not all my popsicles are identical? Absolutely. We want to make them about the same size, but if one's a little wider, one's a little skinnier, one's a little taller, it's all cool. So I am doing six of those. Okay, that is step number one. So I want you guys to pause the video and you are going to draw your six Pop, summer popsicles, all right? So once you're done drawing them, now it's time to add our colors. Now we're gonna do something cool today. We're gonna call, it's called wet on wet painting. So what it actually does is first, I paint it with just clean water and then I add color and it's gonna look really cool. So I have two waters here and you guys will too. You'll have a little one and then you'll have a big one that you can share with your partner. So you're going to go into the clean water that's completely clear, nothing in it. And you are going to paint inside the top of your first popsicle with just water. Just water. Okay, get nice and wet. It'll be kind of, you can be able to tell because it'll be a little bit shiny. So I've got this painted with water. It's okay if I go over the Sharpie a bit because, or your pencil, you guys are gonna use pencil. I'm just gonna try to keep it on lines. I am not painting the stick. I'm just painting the inside. But here's the cool part. So I'm gonna go to my other water, I'm gonna pick a color. Um, I love rocket popsicles. Those are the blue, red, and white ones. So I'm gonna start by doing one of those. So I'm gonna take some blue paint and you need to get quite a bit of water into it. Notice I'm using my bigger water. This one, I don't put any paint in. It stays clean. So I'm putting water in here to get this nice and wet. Get lots on my paintbrush. Then I'm gonna go to where I painted and I'm gonna start just dabbing. And you'll notice it starts to spread out and makes cool kind of patterns. And if you put it down longer, you get darker. If you go quicker, get lighter, you can kind of get some spots in there. So I'm gonna paint about half my popsicle blue. Okay. Now the trick with this is I have to go kind of fast, so I don't want to be slow painting. I'm just gonna mix it in. I'm gonna rinse my brush, dry it off. Now I'm gonna pick my second color. So I'm gonna do like this ready pink. Let me go to my this, get more. If your paint puck is still kind of dry and your paint's really thick, this won't work. So you wanna make sure to add lots of paint to your puck. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. And you'll notice again, it kind of spreads out on its own. Then I go right up to the middle 
And in the middle, if I just kind of lightly touch it, my paint colors will start to mix a little bit. And I get this really cool effect. Okay, and then if you want to too, and you wanna make a little, some spots darker, you get more paint, I maybe make the bottom this dark red color down here. But the water that's already on there will help my two paints to mix together and also to give me like a really cool look. Maybe I wanted a few polka dots, kind of by just gently tapping my brush onto the wet, okay? So it's a really cool trick. So you're just gonna do that for all six. So the best thing that works too, if you use two colors that kind of match, if you're using opposite colors, you might kind of get a muck brown in the middle, but I mean, play around. Um, you could do like three colors here. I'll try one of those. So my brush is nice and clean. Dry it off on my paper towel. So I'm going to go to my clean water again and I'm going to paint inside my next one. Again, not painting the stick. We'll do those at the very end. Okay. I'm going to paint it with water. Make sure I get it nice and wet. There we go. You can tell cause it is shiny. Hmm, now I'm gonna think what colors, I'm gonna try using three colors this time. So let's go here, I'm gonna use, I think, hmm, how about some orange? Oh, I'm gonna make a sunset popsicle. So I'm gonna start with, actually I'm gonna start with a red, a little bit darker up at the top. And again, I just tap it. You can see that the paint flows off my paintbrush into the water. It kind of does its own thing. That's what's cool about this is you just kind of let it do its own thing. It doesn't have to be like perfectly filled in the way. It's neat because it's exploring and you're letting the paint kind of be the, help you be the artist. Okay, now I'm gonna do orange. Make sure I'm rinsing off my brush and drying it on my paper towel. And now I'm gonna put some orange in here. Just kind of tap it in. So instead of going oohs and ahs, we're gently tapping our paintbrush. And if you tap lightly, you get little dots. And if you tap, you get bigger dots. Tap harder. Okay, so I kind of mix those two in. Maybe I put some orange going up to the top there. All right. The last color, I'm going to rinse this and I'm going to go for some yellow. With yellow, it's important that you are rinsing your brush because otherwise it'll kind of go a weird color. See, mine's got a bit of green in it. Okay. I'm going to do my yellow in here. Do my yellow, just tapping it in again. And you'll see that my colors start to mix together. So I don't have to work really hard to mix them. I just kind of put them up close by each other. And if I tap, where my old color started, it'll mix itself for me, which is kind of cool. All right, so there's a sunset. Hey, right, my water here is getting kind of mucky. You guys know what that means. I need to dump it. So I'm lucky I have a sink right here and I'm gonna get some clean water. If you're clear water, you accidentally use it, that's okay, life happens. Go dump it out and get clean water before you start your next popsicle, all right? Because if this has color in it, it won't really work. My paintbrush is clean. Make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, go back to my clean water. Paint my next popsicle. Um, I know, I wanna do like a watermelon popsicle. Okay, so watermelon is green and pink. So I'm gonna get, I like this dark green for the bottom. Eh, maybe that's too blue. Maybe this green. Yeah, this green. And I'm gonna actually, this time I'm gonna start at the bottom. So I'm gonna put my green in, just by, make sure I have lots of water on here. And I could even if I wanted to, cause watermelon kind of has two greens, I could go and get a darker green like this one. And I could add some dots in, some like spots of the darker green in. Just by gently the whole point about this is being gentle with our paintbrush because just by touching the water, your paint will come off it. You barely have to put any pressure at all. Okay, rinse my brush nicely. 
Now let's go get some watermelon red. Ah, uh, that looks like a good watermelon red. Now this time, watermelon kind of has a bit of a line between where the green meets the pink, so I'm just gonna leave a tiny bit of a white strip in between. Now if you're thinking, what about seeds? My watermelon needs seeds. Don't add those with paint. You can always go back and do those with Sharpie. But if I try to put black paint into this, it's just going to do the same thing and go and take the entire, basically take over my entire popsicle. Okay, so I'm just kind of, I can go back and add in more to have some darker spots. The whole thing is I'm touching very gently with my paintbrush. And I'm just letting the water kind of do its thing. Beautiful. Mix my brush. And then you guys can keep doing, going. Do um, all six of yours. Try to do each one differently. Just remember, your first step is to paint with clean, clean, clean water. Don't use the dirty water to paint this. Get clean water. Fill it up, make it shiny. You'll be able to see it. You'll see that it's wet and it's shiny. Okay. All around, up around the edges. And then you just pick colors and see what happens. I haven't used purple yet. Let's use some purple. I'm going to use purple and maybe some blue. Let's do some purple. Ooh, look at that purple. The other thing you could do is if you just want to use one color, you can make it really dark at the top. Add lots in. And then you can use your water to just spread it down and kind of get some cool swirly patterns. The trick with this is not to go to do too much. Don't like make a foul, keep on going with it. You kind of got to just flow with it. And then once you like it, stop. So if you keep on mixing, your whole thing will just turn into one color. All right, dry this off, dry my brush, clean water. Finish painting this one. Paint this one with the wet. Okay. Gotta think of some of my favorite flavors now. Um, really, you can use any colors you want, guys. You could even try doing one with all the colors. I'm gonna try to do a rainbow one, so I'm gonna use a lighter purple this time. I've got some purple at the top. You wanna make every popsicle a little bit different, so. What are the rainbow ones called? Cyclones, I think? I don't remember. But I'll add a little bit of red underneath it. If you want to do a rainbow one, the important trick is going to be cleaning your brush in between the colors. Or they'll kind of all mix together and you'll get a muck brown at the end. I'm gonna use orange. Are there lifesaver ones? I don't know. You guys probably know more about popsicles than I do. I love popsicles, but I will admit ice cream is my favorite. Some yellow. And let's do some green. Let's use this Kelly green. Remember the trick is to get lots of water on your pack. If you don't have enough and it's too thick, it won't spread as nice. Some green in. spots in there and if it's not looking like the spots are kind of weird remember they'll dry cool so just be patient too okay get some blue the very bottom cool a rainbow popsicle mm, i want to eat this okay let it dry and for my last one let's fill this in You could also try doing them sideways like this. So uh, let's use green and blue and yellow. So I'm gonna use, use a different blue, use this blue. I'm gonna add some blue along the side here. Dab it 
dabbing it in. But you want to make like the corners darker or something, you go put more in. See, I didn't quite put enough water in, so it's not, I need more water on my puck to get the, to make the cool dots and the patterns. Okay, rinse my brush. Let's use this bright green. dots in there if you want to kind of mix them you tap around where the two colors come together gently that's how they kind of start to mix and for my last one let's use some yellow I only really want to try to mix them at the edges though I don't want to start painting the whole thing otherwise it'll just turn into one mucky color all right And there we go. We have some very cool summer popsicles. So now what you have to do is you have to be patient and you have to wait for them to dry. Now they're watercolors, so they'll dry pretty quick. So you just kind of have to chill for a few minutes because look, my first one I painted, already dry. Okay, my water's turned mucky again. This would be a good time to get new water. So I'm gonna dump that out. <laughs> Always cold water for paint brushes. Hot water can make the one the paint go weird. It can also start to ruin the glue that holds your paintbrush together. Okay, now I'm going to paint the sticks. I'm just going to use a brown. We're not going to do the wet on wet for this. We're just going to paint it. Um, you can choose light brown, dark brown, whatever you want. Just going to fill it in with my paint. And remember, when you want your paintbrush to only leave little lines, touch gently. When you want it to fill in more space, press a little harder. And you can do your sticks different colors. Maybe I'll use this brown. You can do them black, burnt, whatever color. You think a popsicle stick is. It's your art, so. Maybe a dark brown one. Like mahogany. Okay, now these two at the bottom aren't quite dry yet, so I'd want to wait and be patient for them to dry um, because if I try to paint them and I accidentally slip up into my wet um, popsicle stick, it'll all mix together and it won't look very nice. So you do have to be a little bit patient. If they're not dry, just like chill, read a book, count to 10, go get new water, relax. That's all good, good in the hood. You don't really want to blow on them. That could make the paint move around. Um, okay. So this one is dry. So you can see a little bit of mine wasn't dry there. So they started to mix together. We don't want that to happen. Here's a cool trick though. If you get some paint you don't like and you're working with watercolors, you can take a little corner of your paper towel and you can actually kind of erase it by mopping it up like this. Trick I learned. So I have to wait for the rest of these to dry, but you guys can see what it looks like. So go have fun. Remember, the biggest tricks is first paint with your clean water. If your clean water gets dirty, don't use it. Go get new water. So paint it with clean, clear water, then get your pucks nice and wet and drip drop it in. And it'll look really cool. You'll get these lovely blends of colors. So have fun and I can't wait to see what you come up with.